Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to uh, what is going to be a final game for our CUNE white team as they will go out here against Eastern University as we get things kicked off here in week eight of the NECC. So we'll see here as things get started. We got on our lineup E Man Football, George Ward Binks, and Vuelo Meister. They'll be up against Blair. Ethan, and uh, one more that we'll see here in just a minute. It's like Matt on the other side. So, here we are, Concordia getting things started off. They'll be on their own defensive end. They're working kind of hard here to get it going, but Maddie's going to snap that one right back over towards their side. Ethan here looking to get that out of the corner towards center, and Blair's going to try and find it, but he won't actually pick that up. There's going to be a demo, but Blair not able to find anything. Boilermeister able to send that one packing, and Matt D trying to find a way to keep it in that corner. Ethan able to find that, keep it in the corner, and E-Man Football goes up. However, a Concordia member had gone in aggressively and wasn't able to get a demo. George Orr taking the contest there. Voilomeister tries to get that one up over Maddie and can't, but that's going to be at least some Concordia members sending it down. Blair is able to keep it on the wall. Sends that over, and that's going to be Voilomeister getting a touch into the corner. George Ward Binks touching that one up and over the top. Just maybe it's going to get in front of the net. Ah, oh, George Ward was such a close touch there, almost able to find it. E-Man Football sends that into the corner. Blair's going to get the demo on E-Man Football. Sends this one right towards center, but two members of Concordia are going to send that back. George Orr credited with a shot on goal there. Ball stalls out a little bit in the corner. There's three members of Eastern here. That's a demo, meaning that there's at least one man favor for Concordia right now. See if they can actually capitalize on it. It doesn't look like they'll be able to. Oh, but that ball is going to go ooh, dangerously towards the side, but does not go in. We'll see E-Man Football missing an opportunity to send it back, but Boilermeister is able to get it there. Blair taking it towards the midfield here. Goes up, tries to send this one down and center. Vuelo Meister and E-Man are in goal, but nobody from the Concordia team able to stop that as it just kind of rolls awkwardly in front of the goal. Somehow nobody from Eastern there as well to capitalize on that confusion. George Orr taking it into the corner again as they'll continue to battle on the Concordia side. We've got two minutes left in this game. Voilomeister trying to a different tactic, take it a little slower. He gets the demo onto Blair, and that's going to be Ethan trying to find an opportunity there. Won't be able to. Blair's going to take it up the wall. Knocks it over on net, but Blair is blocked by George Orr, who misses that one. E-Man Football getting a... 50-50 there. That won't necessarily go in his favor. George, we're trying to take this one down now. Gets it up off the wall. He's going to try and find a little bit more of an opportunity. Oh, almost gets a nice second touch there. Ethan going underneath it. Voilermeister going over it. 50-50 keeps this midfield. We are still scoreless. Another nice touch there, though, by Ethan. Will give them the first goal of the game. Finally able to find a nice touch there, sending it down and in. Both teams struggling to honestly get the ball cleared and touched almost half the time. Ethan winning the kickoff there for Eastern, sends it towards Concordia's side. Blair missing that ball up in the air, Ethan touching it there. Voilermeister able to send that up towards him. Double commit there out of Eastern is going to mean the ball sits dangerously in front of their net now. Ethan able to juggle this one a ways, but E-Man Football is going to be there to knock it down. Blair and Maddie double committing again. But Boilo Meisters tries to send it away. He'll get the demo. Blair with an opportunity, but George Orr is there to stop that. 30 seconds remaining. Concordia needs to find a score here to send it us into overtime. The opportunity is there. 
They just need to capitalize on it. Blair knocking it into the corner. 16 seconds remaining as we're going to get down to the final 10 seconds of this game. 1-0 only. Wailo Meister trying to find something, but he just can't touch it. Everybody seems to have just butter fingers today. Missing it on all opportunities. And there's going to be another shot. Ethan's going to find that. That's two scores for him in this game. So with no time left, Eastern finds it. They will find that and be able to go on uh, into game two, leading 1-0. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. Alrighty, and here we are for game two in this best of five series. So, first things first, the uh, ball's going to get sent over towards the Concordia side. Maddie and Blair trying to follow this up. You'll have Ethan here in the mid. He's going to look for a second touch here. We'll find it. Ooh, but it just goes right off the corner. He's looking for another slow roll there, but the Concordia members are going to stop that from happening. He's still hanging around here mid off the top crossbar. Blair now hitting it. Now everyone out of Eastern had an opportunity to touch that. And nobody able to finish the goal that almost definitely should have happened there. But well done by Concordia to try and keep up some defense in that opportunity. Oh, almost an open net, but Blair stopped there by Voilomeister. Goes off the top. Ethan looking for the opportunity as E-Man isn't able to get a solid hit. George or Binks now sending it towards midfield. Clears it all the way over to the side of Eastern. And Blair now able to send it back towards Concordia's side. A couple different change of possessions coming through. Neither team able to find the opportunity yet. Or not able to find a score yet. Many opportunities on the side of Eastern. None of them going quite in. E-Man Football is going to follow this one into the corner. He does get a nice bump onto Maddie, but it's not going to mean much. Goes right over the top of Voilomeister. Ball is high and in the middle here. Voilomeister hopping up over E-Man Football, but the bounce is kind of awkward. Sends it back towards midfield. E-Man Football with an opportunity there. Tries to get the touch. Blair sending it into the corner as it almost goes center for him. That's going to be a nice demo there by Vuelo, and he's going to find the score for Concordia. See here, George or Binks able to knock that up over the top of Ethan, and Vuelo Meister getting the opportunity demo means that it's an open net once the other Eastern member had found his way out. Kickoff here, George or Going to take it into the corner first thing. E-Man Football with an opportunity, and he gets credited with a shot on goal. Doesn't come through for him, though. Blair able to meet Voilomeister, and they both just dead stop there. Voilomeister now with a nice pinch there between him and Ethan, sending it towards the side of Eastern. E-Man Football, really nice touch there, sending it over towards the net, and Ethan, oh, misses that as George Orbanks finds himself. A really good touch. All members of Eastern there trying to reel into that, and Ethan just overshot it, not expecting that to be 
so nicely put into the left corner. 2-0 in favor now of CUNE. Weilomeister going high, perfectly placed there as he gets that contest. E-Man Football sending it up and high towards the middle. Blair going to collect it in the corner. Sends it down towards the middle. Weilomeister with another opportunity here. Oh, and he just sends it back over towards the side. E-Man Football going to chase this one. Not able to find anything more, though, as it goes up on the ceiling. Weilomeister sending it back from midfield over towards the side of Eastern. George are also with an opportunity there. Blair's going to take it out towards midfield. Try and pinch it down. Doesn't really go towards the net. Doesn't get any speed either. It was blocked by a couple members of Concordia. Ethan here picking it up midfield. Tries to knock it there, but Vuelo Meister's going to send it back. Ethan bouncing at midfield, but Blair's not in position. He will be now. Vuelo Meister able to send that one away. Almost would have been an easy shot there. Vuelo Meister missing that ball. Ethan up high. He might have the jump on George Orr, and he does. As he'll get the score there. You can see he just goes up high, and George Orr not able to get back there in time. Good attempt there, but wasn't able to get an angle on it to send it out of the way. We'll see now as George Orr sends that up and over Eman Football. Looking to send it down further, but it's going to be picked up by Ethan now. As Ethan gets a demo on to George Orr, and oh man, they're just going to wait that out. As Eman Football misses that opportunity to send it away. Goal by Blair here. Yeah, E-Man football jumping right into the corner of the net instead of hitting the ball, and we're all locked up now, 2-2, two and two, with a minute 12 in this one. It was all Concordia in the first half. Now it's sort of sending going back in favor of Eastern here. Ethan with a nice shot on goal opportunity. Vuelo Meister getting it out, sending it down towards the side of Eastern. Ooh, and a good opportunity here for E-Man, but he just misses that. Another good opportunity for Concordia. They need to try and get this ball in there if they can. Vuelo Meister able to send it down. Nobody back for Eastern in the goal. Zero boost here by E-Man. He's trying to contest and keep the focus on their side of the of the uh, field. But nobody then in goal as Eastern going to get another goal there. 30 seconds remaining. So too many opportunities there for Eastern, and one of them was bound to go in. Concordia White now looking for one goal here to send us to overtime. Would love to get that here as fast as possible. We'll see now. Blair on the end. Ethan looking for this shot. He's actually not going to find it. It'll be just a little bit wide. Ball goes up and high as Blair runs into his teammate there. Eight seconds remaining. They're just trying to keep it out of their side. And it looks like they will be successful in doing so. So Eastern finds the second game. So we'll go to game three, but Concordia has an opportunity here. They just have to fight for it and finish it off. We'll be back in just a second.
And here we are to get things started off. Game three between Concordia and Eastern. Uh, Concordia White team, I guess, specifically in Eastern University. So this is week eight of the NECC. So the last week of regular season competitions. It's been a long, hard-fought season for both of these teams as Concordia has yet to find um, a win in the season. And Eastern actually only has one win to their name. Well done there by Voilomeister to try and find shot on goal opportunity. George Orr with a really nice touch, and he sends that one right in. Gosh, look at the touch on this one here. E-Man sending it down towards that side, and George Orr just getting the edge of it with his tires, sending it straight into the goal. Well done there by George Orr as we now see the next kickoff come through. Blair going to sneak up there. He does get demoed for it. He's not able to find the second touch he wanted, but it does get sent over towards the side of Concordia. Ball goes high and across the center. Ethan trying to find his opportunity there. Ooh, all Concordia members pulled off from that. Maddie looking to back off here as Ethan and Blair both in here. George Orr gets a nice send-off. But Maddie, an unfortunate touch there. He's going to send that over towards their side. Going to be high. Blair is able to stop that one right in front of the goal. Abuelo Meister missing that one. George Orr trying to get an opportunity here. Flicks it up over one. Ethan, uh, or E-Man, now here in the back. He's, he's contesting. Sends it around the gauntlet, and that's going to be George Orr finding a second goal. Beautifully done, though, by Ethan to get this ball, or sorry, E-Man. His name is also Ethan IRL. That's why I'm mixing it up. But E-Man football beautifully sending it uh, down and around past two different members of Eastern. So, once again, up 2-0 is Concordia. Last time we had this, though, they had issues finishing the game. So we'll see if they're able to correct those mistakes here. As George Orr gets a nice clear into the corner, now sending it down towards the side of Easter. Good opportunity there. Ooh, E-Man just missing that one. Voilomeister, a little bit out of position there as he tried to overcorrect that, wasn't able to find it. E-Man football with a shot on goal opportunity. Blair able to get it on the hood of his car and just flick it up and over. George Orr winning the 50-50 against Maddie sends it towards the corner, but won't go in. E-Man and Ethan meeting up there in the side. Blair up. He's going to find a good touch, and that's going to be very slow in front of the goal. No one able to capitalize on the side of Eastern yet. They will get the demo onto Voilomeister. Blair has an opportunity here. Misses it, and so does Maddie, who had, or I think Ethan, sorry, who had gone in on goal there. E-Man football now sends it down. Gets it past a couple members. Voilermeister trying to get up there, but Blair is able to beat him to it. Ooh, that was a dangerous touch there by George Orr as he almost sent it right back into Blair. And this is honestly a rather slow game. Both of these teams sort of playing it, the b playing the ball slow, that is. As the ball is usually just kind of sitting around, hovering, waiting. E-Man sends that one up high. It goes midfield. Maddie's going to have the touch there. Vuelo missing there as George Orr gets his, uh, gets his touch first. E-Man sends that up, but it misses there. Vuelo able to take it from Ethan, sending it over at the top. That's going to be Blair and Vuelo meeting in the side. Sends it across the front of the goal, and that's going to go across midfield, back to or towards the... Eastern University side, but he's going to have an opportunity here as Maddie sends it over to Blair. Blair tries to hop up and re-situate it, but he can't get there in time. George Orr Binks going down and over. That's going to be dangerously centered, and Voilomeister is going to find it. I was really hoping he'd get there in time, and he does. 3-0 in favor of Concordia White. So beautifully done there as Afraid Voila wouldn't quite make it in time, but he's able to sneak it right in there. A good assist from George Orr sending it across. George Orr winning that kickoff very big, and very big indeed. Oh, man, Voila Meister's just a little high there on that shot opportunity. 
A minute remaining, nobody in. Oh, that's a beautiful touch there to send that up and over and save what definitely could have been an easy shot there. Ethan knocking it up and over as George Orr here gonna try to pinch it over towards the side of Eastern. He will be able to do so. Ethan goes up and gets under it, but that's gonna be a second goal by Buelo Meister. Both Ethan and, or Eman Football and Matt missing low there. So Boilermeister, who was up next, was able to get a nice shot right on. And Ethan wasn't fast enough to get there. 4 0 in favor of Concordia. And it's looking real good here in game three for CUNE. Knocking it up over the top of Boilo is. Ethan, and he does get a shot on goal actually registered, but it's nicely knocked away by George Orr. E-Man Football looking for an opportunity there, isn't able to find it. Goes into the corner as uh, Ethan knocks one up, and man, it's very slow in front of the goal, but nobody able to find it for Eastern. Ten seconds remaining here, as we will be going to game four. with the opportunity for, the, the very, very reasonable opportunity for Concordia to try and send this on a reverse sweep path. So, Concordia gonna go up here, staying alive for one more game as we'll head to game four. And here we are to kick off this game four, where so far it had been all Eastern, but in the last game, Concordia made it a literal shutout, winning that game four nothing. As it was very well done by the Bulldogs, doing the best they could to keep it on the, or keep uh, Eastern on the defensive side. Double commit there out of Concordia, though, is not going to be a good situation as Ethan's going to have a very, very open net. Mistake there by Concordia will cost him, but it won't be the end of it all. New opportunity here now for Concordia. Just only 30 seconds off the clock, so we still have a lot of game ahead of us, especially if we can send this to a game five in this series. George Orr Banks able to send that high over Maddie, actually towards the side of Eastern. Ball gets knocked up there. Blair trying to find it out of the corner. Ends up knocking that almost perfectly for George Orr, who gets an opportunity, and that's going to be shot on goal by E-Man Football, but it's just going to go wide of the opportunity. We'll see Matt there trying to push it out and George Orr taking it up high. Blair now trying to touch it here and he will send it over so there's no opportunity quite yet for Concordia to score this. Ethan here trying to turn it back around, knocks it off the back wall there and two members of Concordia meet for that. But there's going to be George Orr getting it downfield, sending it over towards Eastern side. Ethan able to follow this up, and that's an open net. If he's able to find it, he will find it there. Unfortunate situation. We'll see now that 
Eastern is up 2 nothing to get things going here, and Concordia has, an, uh, has had a couple different opportunities, but just very quick scores by the Eastern team has led to um, no success there. Concordia needs to get some fast scores here. They are definitely capable of doing so. Miss there by E-Man means that it's going to go up and up the wall. George Ward does get a demo onto Blair, and that's going to be Voilemeister getting it past Matt, but Ethan's able to pick this up, send it up over mid. So it's about center. And he's centered continuously here, and Matt missing his opportunity, but Ethan will find it here in the corners. It doesn't go dangerously in front of the net for Eastern. Blair up high, trying to get it sent down towards Concordia's side. Whenever they've had it down there, they've had good opportunities on fast breaks especially. You see George Orr sending it here. He tries to get it past another member, but Blair is able to send it up and get good touches there, and Ethan just sends it in. That's the hat trick for him. We'll see it being 3 nothing. two minutes to go. Concordia still has a lot of options here. I mean, they just need to be more aggressive on the ball. Get it down towards Eastern side. Force them to be on defense. Eastern has shown that they do double commit often. So there is an opportunity. E-Man here is not going to be able to find it. Blair is actually going to find it a little high. He had the opportunity to send it down there, but wasn't able to find it. Vuelo Meister taking it up. Blair looking for a second touch here to finish this, but it won't go in because Vuelo Meister is going to knock that one away. Concordia needs a score here in the next 30 seconds and able for this to even be a viable op option for them to try and come back. And that's going to be a demo on the backside. Blair able to find a score. 4 nothing now in favor of Eastern as they've turned up the pressure. That demo definitely helping out there for Eastern as they found a gap then, a nice wide gap in the defense of Concordia. Two members of Concordia going on the offensive early. Blair having to back out here as George Orr might have a good shot, but it's knocked away by Ethan before it can register. Blair goes up high, and E-Man football knocking it towards the eastern side. Contesting is Concordia, and that's just going to be Blair finding himself his second score. 5-0 now for Eastern, as that should be the nail in the coffin for Concordia. We'll have just 54 seconds of gameplay left here, and it's been a tough season for the Bulldogs. They've tried their hardest and had a couple different options or opportunities throughout the year. A lot of close games and games like this that should have, could have gone either way and been clenched by them, but just unfortunate how it all is bumped out, but we'll be looking try and build on what the team has done so far this year and try and find options for next semester whenever the spring, uh, spring season gets started. 13 seconds remaining here and Voilemeister sending it away from the goal. As the final clock will count down and Blair getting another score just adding to his own stats. That'll be his uh, hat trick. So double hat trick in this game. Or two hat tricks, I guess I should say, in this game as it'll be done once the ball is kicked off. But well done by Concordia White. Had opportunity to try and push it in. But we will see you all here in just a bit as the Concordia Blue team will go up against New Mexico uh, New Mexico Tech, I believe, 
in their final game of the season, which is a huge opportunity for the Bulldogs as if they are able to clench a win that will get them into, or that should, uh, that will push them into a uh, playoff, into the playoffs. So really looking for an opportunity tonight. Um, see you blue team looking for a win, but we will see you back here in just a bit. to the stars.
No, you don't have to say those words again Oh no, and you don't have to no, you don't have to go and explain yourself Cause I ain't gonna listen Yeah, all you wanted was a souvenir To remember it all Yeah, you tore it apart Down to every last piece Yeah, a souvenir Another story to tell And I just gotta, I gotta know How to find out Cause it never ends It's there in all ways It's evident You never change for our sake Maybe you We're falling out Your little black book ran out of pages Cause if you're gonna take it all And baby, don't waste it
tumbling down, tumbling down. What would you do if your world came tumbling down, down, down on the ground? What would you do if your world came tumbling down, tumbling down? Alright everyone and welcome as we are going to get started here. Last game of the season for the Concordia Blue team and a last ditch effort to get into playoffs. That's right, this game is going to mean quite a bit for Concordia. A win here would be huge in our standings trying to get us into playoff contention. Which we are currently sitting in ninth place right now. Top eight places go to playoffs. So looking for the opportunity is CUNE Blue. So we're going to get things started here. Beeston takes it midfield. As Loonster is going to try and knock that over. OG Baba able to send it down. But uh, Call Me Flux is back in goal, able to keep that one out of the net. OG Baba, though, carrying it over, does get a good demo on top of the fact that he just sent the ball almost into net. Moonster here trying to knock it up and over center. OG Baba will meet with it there. Dreadful Monkeys trying to send it up and over. Loonster's going to get a shot on goal, and that's going to be OG Baba able to get the save, uh, credited with the save. But, oh, Dreadful Monkeys able to find the first score here of this game and get New Mexico Tech up 1-0. Everything on the line here for Concordia as we get next uh, ready for this next kickoff. Beeston goes up, knocks it there as it's going to be Tacey J trying to find it, but Dreadful Monkey is able to get a really good center. And my gosh, if he hadn't been any faster, he would not have made it as a wonderful save comes through for Concordia. OG Baba going to follow this one over on the side. Does get it uh, towards midfield a little further. It's going to go over Call Me Flux and Beeston. Or Tacey J, sorry, he's going to get credited with a shot on goal. Tacey J in the backfield, sends it up, and OG Baba is now here. OG Baba trying to decide what he's going to do with it as a beast, and Call Me Flux flicks that one over the top. Dreadful Monkey's over in the corner trying to get it centered. Loonster is going to try and center it, gets it knocked up and high. It's awkward, but that's going to be Beaston sending it over into the corner. Loonster contending there, and Tacey J sends this one far towards the side of New Mexico Tech. Dreadful Monkeys trying to find it out of the corner, and Call Me Flux also now sending it out of the corner. OG Baba sends that one close to center, but isn't able to find it. Tacey J now knocking it into the corner, isn't able to find the bump on the Dreadful Monkeys that he wanted. Loonster is now knocking this one around. The corner, Call Me Flux, goes on the 50-50 with, uh, was, uh, it was Beast in there. Now it's going down towards the side of New Mexico Tech. OG Baba and Loonster meet there, trying to find it, as that's two members now. Over, and that's going to be Beast in getting a shot on goal, but Call Me Flux is going to be there in time. Call Me Flux sends it up and over, and Tacey J is going to find one over to OG Baba. OG Baba again contesting here as the ball is going to go right in front of the net, but nobody from Concordia able to find that one. Dreadful Monkeys trying to find a nice light tap to send it over. Loonster gets a touch there, but Tacey J able to send it over towards New Mexico Tech side, and that's going to be a miss, and Tacey J is going to find a goal. Wonderfully, wonderfully done there. Tacey J getting this touch here. Knocks it down, and Call Me Flux overestimates his speed. Good job there by Concordia to take advantage of that mistake. 
for some reason the stream is lagging about as hard as it possibly can. I'm not sure why. We'll figure out what's going on in a minute. But Concordia here ties things up at one and one with a minute 30 to go here. Concordia trying to find the opportunity to send this one away. TCJ with a nice touch there. That might just go right into the corner. Oh, and it just goes off the top edge. Almost very well done there. OG Baba getting a nice touch, and that's going to be Tacy J getting the demo onto Dreadful Monkeys. Ball goes down over towards the Concordia side, though. Ooh, OG Baba with a really nice touch to save that one. One minute remaining, and that's going to be Dreadful Monkeys knocking it out of the corner. But, oh, come on, and Tacy J is going to find it! That's going to be him! Wonderful goal there. You can hear it in my voice as I was just like, come on, get the second touch. Gets it here, almost off the wall, and I think it just went right off the backside of the opponent there. My goodness, it was, couldn't have been any closer than that. Beaston with an opportunity here. Dreadful Monkeys gets the demo on the Tacy J, but his job is finished in trying to connect there. They're going to connect up high, and man, Beaston with the save. There is that ball could have gone in. Loonster trying to find it here, but it's not going to go in. And Beeston now just has to try and beat a couple guys. Will he be able to? He's not able to find it past that, but it will go just into the corner here. TCJ knocks it up. Loonster goes flying over it. Dreadful Monkeys not able to get a solid clear either. Call me Flux will find it. Loonster now sending it out of midfield, uh, out of their side towards midfield. Now it goes over to the Concordia side as Tacy J able to meet it in the air and knock it back. Seven seconds left here. Three, two, one. Come on, let's just see this ball get knocked down. And there it is. Concordia is going to win game one, two to one. Fantastic job by Concordia. And we'll be back in just a second with game two. And here we are now for game two between Concordia University Blue and New Mexico State Tech, or sorry, New Mexico Tech. I'm just going to continue. New Mexico State, New Mexico Tech State College, whatever the heck. Dreadful Monkey is trying to get an opportunity there, but he isn't able to send it in. Beeston now with a really good opportunity, but he just sends it off course to the left. Loonster was basically just at his whim unable to find anything there. That's going to be Beeston getting another opportunity, and he just pinches it uh, between the members of New Mexico uh, Tech, and it gets sent out of the way. Tacy J having to make a really good defense there. Does find that defense. It's solid, and this might be an opportunity, but ah, Tacy J not able to find the demo to secure that for OG Baba. Beaston able to send it back towards New Mexico Tech's side. Tacy J going to keep it over there. OG Baba now going to have to do his best, but he's going to get knocked. It's going to get knocked over uh, by, I believe, a, a new sub in for New Mexico Tech. I, mean, I think it's Doofenshmirtz. Uh, we'll see in just a second. Tacy J with a really good touch. Loonster, though, is going to come through and send that off out of uh, midfield. Beast in here is Dreadful Monkeys gets an opportunity, but Dreadful Monkeys will send it, just knock it away himself. So we'll see here if Concordia is able to send it down. Doofenshmirtz gets a shot on goal. And that's going to be OG Baba going up. Oh, man, a really good touch there. He gets credited with a shot on goal. Knocks this one, uh, TCJ knocking this one over to Beast and Doofenshmirtz trying to find it, and that's going to be OG Baba up a little too high. TCJ will find a score, though, and get things started for Concordia here. one nothing, with three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Great pressure from Concordia finally leads to enough members of 
New Mexico t uh, State missing it. OG Baba is up and Beeston on the sneak. Tries to find a commit. Nothing going there. Dreadful Monkey sends that up over towards midfield. Dude from Schmerz now trying to find it. Actually, a really good pinch there. And oh man. Loonster then able to find it off the top. You can see this pinch here from Doofenshmirtz is actually just perfect. Sends it right up and over off the top of the arena so it slows down and opening up an opportunity for them, uh, New Mexico Tech to find the goal. Beeston getting a nice touch here and OG Baba trying to send it over. Doofenshmirtz will get it touched and Dreadful Monkey's not able to find it as TCJ is going to send it back towards uh, midfield. OG Baba clearing it down further. This Dreadful Monkeys is going to get to it first here. Beeston trying to get up and slow it down but isn't able to find it. TCJ gets a nice touch. He might be able to touch it again. Almost getting a, a second touch there that could have sent it up and over. Loonster going to get a nice shot on goal but Beeston credited with the save. Doofenshmirtz sends it back over and it doesn't get it centered as Tacey J is able to send that one back. Tacey J goes high over Dreadful Monkeys, finding a really good contest. And OG Baba with an opportunity, but Doofenshmirtz does send it over towards the side. Now up mid, up just hanging in midfield is this ball. Tacey J with a nice shot on goal as Concordia is getting more and more opportunities. Tacey J pinching that one out of the corner. OG Baba is going to find it, but Loonster with a really good defense high there. He's going to stop that one from going any further. Beeston, though, finds a touch there. That's going to be a miss from Doofenshmirtz. Opportunity for Concordia here, but that's a bump onto OG Baba, so it's not going to be able to follow up very easily. But that's a bump onto Loonster, so this is Tacey J's opportunity, but that's going to be Dreadful Monkey sending it out of the way. Beeston now. Sending it up and around. That's going to be a miss from Dreadful Monkeys. This is an open net. Wide open for OG Baba to finish it. Fantastically well done here as Dreadful Monkeys misses off the wall. Pure open goal. And luckily, Concordia able to capitalize on the opportunity. 2-1, to one, Concordia University Blue. Dreadful Monkeys now... Trying to find an opportunity. He does get credited with a shot on goal. Casey J sends that up and over. And OG Baba now trying to find it in the corner here. And he's just going to kind of wrap it around. Beeston sending it up and over. Doofenshmirtz does demo. Casey J, but the, uh, him getting uh, back in is going to end up being on that side. Another demo onto Casey J. And we'll see now that Concordia is trying to find the opportunity. Beeston sends it up and over one minute remaining in this game. Loonster now trying to find it there. Tacey J credited with a shot on goals. Loonster is able to knock that one away. Beeston sends it up over Dreadful Monkeys. Doofenshmirtz trying to find an opportunity here. Dreadful Monkeys knocking it over there. And Loonster, though, misses his opportunity. Hopefully Beeston would have been there to get the stop that Concordia needed. That ball's going to go up and over towards midfield as OG Baba with an opportunity sends it into New Mexico Tech's corner. Beeston sends it over to the side where Tacey J is waiting for it. Getting another touch is Tacey J and that ball is going to be up and high in the middle. Sent all the way over towards the Concordia side. Loonster trying to find it there. Six seconds remaining. Concordia just has to try and knock this one down to the ground. And one second left, that's no time on the clock, and Concordia is going to find game two here up against New Mexico Tech. Well done by Concordia in a game that they absolutely needed in. So, up 2 none is Concordia University. One more game to try and seal the deal here. We'll be back in just a second.
And here we are. So we'll, uh, of course, get into spectate where we can actually see what's going on here. And uh, Concordia up two games to none in this series so far. Opportunity now to take the win and give ourselves a really good chance at um, uh, getting into eighth place for playoffs and extending our regular season a little bit longer. So Concordia now with everything on the line has been playing out of their minds, honestly, which is just very good. I mean, they've been playing very well throughout the season. It's been a, a remarkable job by both uh, by our team to get things going and opportunity now for it to pay off as we go into playoffs. So now Tacey J with an opportunity here, but Loonster isn't able to, uh, or is able to capitalize and get a nice block. And that's gonna be ball headed down towards Concordia's side. Open net for Dreadful Monkeys, but he doesn't find it. And that's an open net now for Concordia. If they could just get it on and in, and Tacey J will find it. Double commit there as the ball looked easily ready to go in for Tech, uh, New Mexico Tech. But Concordia able to strike first here in game three. Ujibaba on kickoff here. Dreadful Monkeys will find it. Tacey J sends it over to the side. Sioni Ojibaba gets the demo onto Dreadful Monkeys. This ball gets kind of stalled out in the front of their net. Beaston trying to carry it down. It's fairly far. Loonster going to try and take this up and over. Tacey J looking to catch it. Ojibaba tries to send it away. Doofenshmirtz not able to get the redirect. He quite wanted there. But this is going to be Beaston trying to go up and get a nice touch, but he isn't able to get on the outside of it and get it totally in. Tacey J now following it around the curve. I don't think he even has any boost left in his tank. He's still trying to follow this one up. Beaston getting a nice touch off of the top of Dreadful Monkeys there, but isn't able to uh, get any further with it. Tacey J trying to find a better angle and does. Sends it over. Loonster is able to catch it at midfield and try to get a redirect. And Dreadful Monkey's also trying to redirect off of Loonster. But the ball's so slow, they're not able to quite find what they need. The ball is just hovering here in midfield. Ojibaba sends it over. It's going to get knocked off the top there, though, by Loonster. Sent over towards Ojibaba <laughs> is the ball, but the redirect doesn't happen. Tacey J now trying to get out of the corner. Doofenshmirtz takes it up. OG Baba sends it back towards the corner of New Mexico Tech. OG Baba. It's getting a good touch there. And it's going to be up to Beaston to stall it out here. Ball just gets slowed down. Tacey J able to knock that one. A 50 50 just sends it high. OG Baba sending it out of the corner. All the way towards the side of New Mexico Tech. Dreadful Monkeys now has to make a de defensive play here. OG Baba, really good touch. Beaston on a nice touch as well, but that's going to be two members of Concordia committing for that. Luckily, OG Baba able to get back, and nobody from New Mexico Tech down far enough to punish the double commit from Concordia. And that's going to be Loonster taking it up there. Dreadful Monkey almost with a shot in, but luckily... Tacey J is there to get that save. Beaston knocking this one down and over towards the side of New Mexico Tech. It goes off the wall at a funky angle. Loonster sends it down towards midfield. That's going to be Tacey J credited with a shot or a save there. OG Baba and Tacey J both go up. Mistake there by Concordia. Beaston hopefully can send this back and he might just send it almost in. Ah, it goes off the far corner. Didn't have a good angle to see that from myself. Loonster, sen or Loonster sends it down and over. Beaston's going to send it back into the corner. One minute remaining here. one nothing. This is a very close game. Still an opportunity for New Mexico Tech. If Concordia can get another score, it would be loads helpful for them to try and get an opportunity. Beaston able to send this one over. OG Baba gets the demo onto Dreadful. And that's another uh, uh, Beaston then demoing Dreadful again. As they're trying to get a uh, numbers advantage to try and find this score. 
both teams sending it all around, none having really the option. That's a really good bump there by Loonster onto Beeston, but it isn't going to mean anything yet. Is that going to be OG Baba finding Doofenshmirtz? Loonster has to make a heroic play, and he does. Tacey J trying to find it in the corner. OG Baba knocks that there. Eight seconds left. Will New Mexico Tech be able to find this or no? Three, two, one, and that's going to be Concordia University 3-0-ing New Mexico Tech which is absolutely fantastic, especially going into the postseason. Also, fun fact, New Mexico Tech is 6-1 and one right now, so that was a huge upset for Concordia. Fantastically done here by Concordia Bulldogs. So that'll be a win for a uh, CUNY Blue team and a good opportunity now we're still sitting in ninth place but with that we do improve to four and four and so we'll see what happens above us it had to be george fox gold or the um upper iowa university losing to give us the opportunity to continue on but we've done the best we can here so we will see what happens further up the chain good job by these guys and we will be back on Thursday for some Overwatch action as the 6th ranked Concordia Bulldogs look to hopefully improve their season one game better and hold on to a really solid position in playoffs. We'll see you on Thursday.